So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build an AI voice booking bot that can answer all of your calls 24 seven, 365, qualify your leads, book appointments for you, and even provide instant estimates to customers that call in for a quote. Now, the best part is, is this works for any business. All you have to do is change the prompt. And so instead of just telling you about it, let me show you by giving this AI system I built a call. And then from there, I'll show you exactly how to build this for your own business. Or if you're like me, I love helping out businesses with these types of systems. And so you can learn this skill and help out businesses with these types of systems. So let me give this one a call. This is for a plumbing business. This is Jackie from John's Plumbing. How can we help? Hi, I'd like to uh, schedule some sort of service. Sure thing. What type of service do you need? Is it a clogged drain, leaking pipe, water heater issue, or something else? Yeah, the shower drain is clogged. Got it. You need help with a clogged shower drain. Is that correct? Correct. All right, where is the shower located? Is it in the bathroom or somewhere else? This is in the master bathroom. All right. The issue is in your master bathroom. How many fixtures are affected? Just the shower or is there anything else? Just the shower. So you're dealing with one fixture affected, is that right? Yes. Great, based on this information, the estimate for unclogging the shower drain is $150. Let's schedule your service. Our next available technician can visit on Monday, January 6th at 9 a.m. PST. Does that work for you? Uh, do you have 10 a.m. by chance? Sure thing. We can schedule your appointment for Monday, January 6th at 10 a.m. PST. Does that work for you? Yeah, and I had a question. So you said it would be $150 for unclogging the drain? Yes, that's correct. The estimate for unclogging the shower drain is $150. Do you have any other questions or concerns? Do, am I obligated to pay that, or is, is it free for somebody to come out and take a look? The estimate of $150 is for the service to unclog the drain. If you decide not to proceed with the service after our technician assesses the situation, there won't be any charge for just taking a look. Does that help clarify things? Yeah, that sounds great. Awesome. So, to recap, you've scheduled a service for a clogged shower drain in the master bathroom. The estimate is $150, and a technician will arrive on Monday, January 6th at 10 a.m. PST. Sound good? Yep, sounds great. Perfect. You'll receive a text confirmation shortly. Thanks for choosing John's Plumbing. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, so that was a live demo. Now let me get into showing you what happened on the back end with the automation, and then I'll show you how to build this all out. Okay, so the first thing that I built out is an automated text to the lead, the lead being me that is calling in for a service, right? So you can now see that this was texted to me and it just summarizes the call and it basically tells me you know, what my issue was, what the estimated cost is, and then the appointment date and time. Now keep in mind, all of this data can be changed, can be adjusted, can be reformatted. You can, you know, do this a million different ways. I even built one of these systems for a pizza business. So I did this where you take, you know, small, medium, large pizzas and drinks and all these different things. So you can easily change all this. This specific example is just for a plumbing business. Now, you can see here, this was texted to the actual lead. In addition to that, this can also be texted to the business owner. So if you own a plumbing business in this example, this could be texted to you. Um, you could text this to your sales rep. You could text this to a technician. You can basically do whatever you want with the information once it's extracted from the actual call. And this can also be emailed, et cetera, et cetera, right? So this was texted to myself for the sake of the demonstration, but you can add this to pretty much whoever you'd like. The second thing is this actually booked a real appointment with this particular uh, lead on an actual calendar. So if we go over here to the calendar section and we go to the appointments, we will actually see an appointment with this particular you know, uh, lead. And keep in mind, like I said, you can add different questions. I can collect the, you know, the caller's name, their email, all that stuff. You'll see this is blank because I didn't want to go through that whole sequence of um, you know asking those questions to the leads but that's basically what happened on the back end right and there's additional things you can do as well I have so many different ideas or things that can be done but these are kind of the two simple functions is somebody calls in they get an answer from the AI system 24 7 365 once the call is completed they get a text with a summary and then if they decided to book an appointment they you know are on an actual calendar and in addition to that, uh, appointment automations are super simple to add as well, where the, you know, the customer would get an, a, a reminder of the appointment. All that stuff is super easy to actually create. So that's what happened. Now let me show you how to actually build this and set this all up. 
Okay, so this all, everything I'm showing you all exists inside of a software called Go High Level. You probably are familiar with it. If you're totally new to the channel, then you know this is the software that I'm using. So once you actually have a Go High Level account, this is where we actually locate and create the setup for the AI you know, caller, right? The one that answers the, the phone and how it behaves. All that is done here. So we go into voice AI agents and then I'm gonna click on this plumbing business because this is the one that I just showed you now. It's super simple to set this up. The main thing that you're setting up for a system like this is really what's called the prompt and the prompt is basically the sequence of questions that the, the AI system is asking and overall just how it behaves. So you quickly just kind of name the agent here. So in this case, mine would be named Jackie, right? I actually just had that as plumbing business there, but I named my AI's Jackie, but you could name it whatever you'd like. Then you have the name of the business it's representing. This is just a sample business. And then we have a bunch of voices that we can choose from and you can just click on them and play them to hear how they sound. And that's the voice that the AI will, uh, basic, this voice represents what the AI sounds like. And then we have the direction of the call. So me as the actual lead, I called the AI system. So this is considered an inbound call. Now, Go High Level um, says here that it's coming soon where it can make an outbound call. Um, and so imagine somebody, you know, fills out a form for your business, right? You could potentially click outbound call here. And then when somebody fills out a form, you know, that person will automatically get called and potentially converted to an appointment. So this is just an inbound function for now, which is basically a lead needs to call your business, right? So if you want to get more calls, you have to have marketing in place like ads or, you know, automation, uh, automated text or emails to, to get leads to call you for some sort of incentive um, so that they can go through this system, right? Then we have the agent's initial message. So this is the message that the AI system says as soon as you call the actual number, right? And so you want to tie this in, you know, directly to your prompt or directly into the first question that you want to ask the leads. I obviously just did something general here, like how can we help? Because usually people will just kind of tell you, you know, what's going on and then you can ask specific questions from there. So that's the first part of it. Now there are advanced settings where you can limit the time of the call. So you can go as long as 15 minutes. In all of my tests with this, I probably tested this, you know, at least 50 times and then I've tested other systems before. Um, when you have a really well-designed prompt and system that answers the call, um, you really don't have too long of phone calls because the, the goal here of this particular system is basically to get all of the necessary information from the customer or the lead and then pass it to the correct employee or the business owner, right? So they can get service or they can get help. That's really the whole point of the AI. The AI isn't here to replace humans or, you know, to have a long conversation with them. It's really just, hey, what do you need help with? Okay, let me get super clear on what that is, what the pricing is, all the basics, right? If all those things still sound good, cool, then we'll schedule you in or whatever your, your process is for your business. So a five minute call time is, you know, probably more than enough. But if you want to make it longer, you can just easily add this up right here. Then we have the response speed. So this is basically how quickly the agent will respond to what you're saying on the call. Um, in all of my tests, I found that the normal was fast enough. So there's no need for me to make it faster because I don't want to create any sort of a crossover or cross talk between the leads and the actual AI system. But you can test these all out if you'd like. Then the next section here, which is the main section, is the agent goals. So this is basically the prompt where I'm telling the AI system how to behave and basically what questions to ask and different examples for those questions to kind of help the, the lead out with um, you know, some of the things that may, they may need help with. For example, um, you, know, you kind of are leading the, you're leading the lead into the, you know, the question right, that you want to understand so that it has a better idea of how to answer it, right? And so if you listen to the call again, you can kind of hear how it did that, like what type of service are you needing today? And then it kind of said, you have a clogged drain? Um, is it a leaking pipe, et cetera, right? So that kind of helps the, the lead with, you know, getting them into the right category of what they need help with. So you can see this is the prompt and I'm not gonna do like, this video will get really long if I explain this whole prompt, but I have prompt templates that I just use for, you know, these types of systems for both chat bots and for voice bots. So I just basically used my prompt format here and I applied it to you know this particular plumbing business. And I chose a plumbing business because I think it's a really simple business for anyone to grasp. And it's just basic stuff like this that can take your business to the next level, like always having somebody answering the calls and booking appointments, right? And so this is just a super simple prompt. This can easily be changed as well. So that's the prompt right here. And then additionally, I also added in pricing. So um, I think, I can't remember, uh, now the call but it should have told me the pricing of that particular um service and if it didn't it at least texted me right and so all this stuff can be uh, i tested this out with the pizza shop and i added in like 
10 items, right? And different pizzas, different sizes, different drinks, and it basically calculated the math instantly and even the wait time. So you can do all this stuff really, really, um, you know, in a really cool way here through the prompt. So that's what I did here just to kind of test the function. So that's the prompt. And then which, which actually triggers the automation, right? The text and the calendar appointment that I showed you is the updating of the contact field. So, you know, if you're new to these types of systems, basically Go High Level provides you with a few different actions you can do. The first one being a call transfer. So a call transfer would be the AI system gets to a certain point in the conversation, right? Or, um, you know, the, the lead indicates a specific trigger word or something like that. And then we would transfer the call to whomever, right? And so that's a call transfer. So if, for example, um, they said, you know, where is the issue located? And they said kitchen. If for whatever reason, you know, we want, you know, kitchen plumbing issues to go to this per particular technician on a live call, then we could transfer that with this call transfer action, right? The second um, option that they give you is to trigger a workflow which is essentially what I did, but there's a reason I did it via the update contact field. But triggering a workflow inside of high level could be a uh, set of different automations like texts and emails, um, adding things to the notes, et cetera, right? And so you can do that here based on you know, a variety of things. You know, when do we trigger the workflow? For example, we could say when the uh, lead books an appointment, right? And then we could trigger um, an actual a you know automation in there. I did it a different way. Like I said, I won't get into all that, but that's an example of what this particular uh, option would be. Now, what I did is update contact field. And so the reason I did the update contact field is because I wanted to see how much data the AI caller could pick up through this particular system and then how I could use it. Because at the end of the day, AI is essentially just a faster, more efficient way to get the right information in this context, right? And so instead of hiring somebody or you know going back and forth on phone calls and texting, we're giving the the lead an opportunity to call the business and basically give us everything they need help with, and then we can basically tell them you know kind of the base level things that um, are true, right? Which is like here's when we can come out, here's what it would probably cost, and et cetera, et cetera. And that way we can just see if there's a fundamental kind of agreement of like, okay, like I'll at least see if these guys can come out, right? That's really the goal here. We don't want it to, you know, totally take over the whole thing at least yet, right? So for, for this particular thing, when the call is completed, right, we basically just want to pass this info into our system, which is, you know, what the customer needs help with, the estimated time frame for the service, like how long it's going to take, the pricing, you know, how long it's going to take for the technician arrives, and then the appointment date and time. And so when that call gets completed, that all gets updated in this particular custom field. And then that custom field is what gets texted to the lead. And like I said, could be texted to the business owner or whomever. And then the next one is just the appointment details. So if the lead decides to book an appointment, we simply want to capture the date, time, and time zone of that appointment booked so that we can create that automation that actually books it in the calendar. So that's basically what this system does is we got a prompt and we have actions, right? Additionally, the last action you can do is a send SMS. So this would basically you know, send a text to the business owner. These could all kind of be the same thing, trigger workflow, update contact field, send text. Um, they're just kind of labeled differently trigger workflow when call is completed, same idea here. And you could also receive an email notification post call completion. So if you wanna email the business owner or yourself with a summary of the call, it can do that through here. Now, the last component here is you know the phone and availability, which I think is really cool because you can use this one of two ways. I guess you can use it multiple ways, more than that, but the two ways that I think are most practical is one, enabling the system as a backup to the phone number associated with the business. So when you sign up for a go high level, and you, you know, purchase a phone number for a business, if somebody calls that number, right, and you don't answer, then you could turn this on. So then the AI will always be like your backup. So if, you know, you basically don't answer, the AI will always answer. If you have it turned off, the AI will always answer first. And you can do that with a separate number than yours. So if you're doing marketing or something or need a 24 seven hotline, you could basically um, buy a specific number for that if you want people to be able to call it uh, 24 seven and never, you know, talk to a human, only talk to the AI, right? So this is really cool. Additionally, you can also make this a, uh, after hours bot, as I like to call it, where after, you know, 5 PM, the AI system turns on your shop closes and now you have somebody or something basically taking calls for you and trying to, you know, help out customers and basically book appointments. So you can just go here and say that, you know, maybe, or maybe Sunday, you know, your shop is closed or whatever it is. And so you just want it to run on Sunday, right? You could, do this a million different ways, but that's really the main kind of component here. And then in the call logs, you just have like the, you know, the list of the calls that were made and the summaries and stuff like that. So that is what I'm doing with the AI systems. Um, you know, when it comes to voice, I think this one's super powerful. 
If you guys want to learn more about Go High Level, I have a link to a 30-day free trial down below. And when you use my link, you get all of my bonuses as a thank you for using my particular link, which I do make a commission for. However, you do get a 30-day free trial, so you can test everything out that I'm showing you here completely free. And it includes all my prompts and stuff like that, so you can just set this up way faster and just install it directly into your actual account. And also, if you don't want to sign up for high level yet, but just want to stay connected with people that are doing this type of stuff, I do have a link to a completely free group. There's about 4,100 members um, in that group, and we're all learning this stuff and sharing stuff and figuring it all out together. So I would definitely join that at minimum just so you stay connected and uh, you, know, you can kind of see what other people are doing as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you in the next video and talk to you then. Bye-bye.